Hello and welcome guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an eight-way locomotion system inside of Unreal Engine. So I can move forward, backwards, left, right, up, right, up, left, back, left, and back, right. And I can rotate my character and he'll face that direction. I actually use a system like this when my character is engaged in combat in this upcoming ninja game that I'm working. In this video, I'm going to be using Frank's RPG Katana set for my animations. So I won't be able to share these, although feel free to use any other animations. So, the first thing we want to do is right click and then go to animation and then blend space. And then you want to select your character's skeleton, mine's the Yi for mannequin. And I'll just call this my locomotion blend space. Once you have that, you want to double click and open it up. And then go to the horizontal axis. And for the name, you just want to call this direction. And in the minimum axis value, you want this to be minus 180. And in the maximum axis value, you want this to be 180. For the number of grid divisions, you want this to be 8. Oops. And then if we go to the vertical axis, for the name, you just want to call this speed. And we can leave these other default settings. Then we want to head over to the asset browser and look for the character's idle animation. And just drag this here. Here. Here here and here so five different times now we can start to add our characters locomotion animations so the first one you want to look for is your character walking backwards so mine's here and you just want to place this here so where your character's speed is 50 and the direction is minus 80 and you want to drag this here as well so now we have our backwards animations next we're going to add our characters forward animation so you just want to just select this and put this into the center now we're going to add our characters walking left animations so I'm going to select my characters walking forward left animation and drag this here then I'm going to drag my characters walking left animation and drag this here then I'm going to drag my characters backwards walking left and drag this here and we'll do the exact same for our right our characters walking right animations we'll drag the forward right and place this here then we'll drag the walk right animation here and then we'll drag the backwards right animation and plug this here and then click save and then if I move this we can see my character's idle if I move this forward my character moves forward if I move this here my character starts to move towards the left then he starts to move backwards and then backwards so using this we'll be able to make a locomotion system so once we have that we want to click save close this and then go to your character's animation blueprint once we open our character's animation blueprint, we can see that we have a variable for our character's speed here, although we don't have a variable for our character's direction. So we're gonna create one for that now. So if I go back and then go to add variable and I'll call this direction. And then if we go to variable type, we wanna change this to be a float. Then we wanna head over to the event graph and right click and look for try get pawn owner. So this will get our the owner of this animation blueprint. From here, we're going to drag off and look for get velocity. Then we're going to drag off here and look for get actor rotation. Then we're going to right click and look for calculate direction and just connect this into velocity and this into base rotation. Then we're going to drag off here and look for set direction and plug this into here and this in here and then click compile then we just need to if we just click this button jump to jump start and go to default and then head into this idle slash run bit we can delete this and drag in our locomotion blend space and plug speed into here and then we can drag in our new variable direction and plug this into here and this into here and then click compile and then to test this out, if we just select our third person character in the game and click edit third person character, you want to head over to the viewport and then select character movement. And then in the details panel, if we look for rotation, you just want to uncheck orient rotation to movement and click use controller desired rotation and then click compile, close this and then click play. And then we can see that our character is moving in eight different directions. 
although this can be quite snappy and we can make this a bit smoother. So to do that, if we just select our character's locomotion blend space and in asset details, if I look for target weight interpolate, interpolation, make this a value of round four, you can play with this value. If I just close this and click play again, my character's a bit smoother when he starts blending between all the different animations. So that's just a trick you can do to make it a bit smoother. And then we can also just make the camera a bit more smooth when it rotates so that our character doesn't always instantly rotate to face the direction. So to do that, if I just set my edit third person character, I want to head over to the event graph and then we just want to select this mouse input bit and move this down. We can just move this bit a bit down. We're going to edit the input axis term. So off axis value, I'm going to drag off here and look for absolute. And what this will do is it will make it so it doesn't matter if this is a positive number or a negative number. And then we're going to drag off here and look for is this greater than 0.3. Actually, use, let's use 0.5. And then we can drag off here and look for branch. And just connect this into here. And if this is true, then we want to drag in character movement and just drag off this and look for set controller desired rotation. Whoops. So I'll just drag off this and look for set controller desired rotation and leave this unchecked and plug this into here and this into here. Then if I just copy this, and if this is false, we want to leave this checked and plug this into here. And then if I click compile and close this, and I rotate my camera, it will wait a bit and then my character will rotate towards the direction my camera is facing. If you want to change the character's rotation speed, just head back in here. We can go to character movement and we can change the Z value. So if I made this something like 300 and then compile and click play, my character will take a bit longer to rotate. And that is basically how to make an eight way locomotion system inside of Unreal Engine. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.